What's up guys? Just arrived in Vancouver. Actually, I've been here for a few hours. First thing was first, I hit the gym and know that I did not travel, or I tra did not travel without, yeah, I don't know, two days out. I can't brain function right now. Brought my 1MR. This was the only supplement that I brought with me, but this is Bay, so it's good enough. And like I said, I just went to the gym. I hit legs today. It was my final like big leg day before the show. Uh, tomorrow will be my final workout, so I'll do a full body pump and then uh, cardio. And then Saturday will be a full day off, just resting day before the show. Sunday, we compete. So a little bit different this time, not competing on Saturday. Bikini pros go on Sunday. I am heating up a meal. I have some chicken here and some asparagus. So what I did, I didn't have freezer packs to bring my food with me. So what I did was I went to the grocery store right before I left and I got some bags of frozen veggies and I put them in Ziploc bags and then I put them on top of all of my food to keep my food cold. And when I got here, it was perfectly cold still. So, time to eat. Good morning, YouTube. I'm in great spirits today. I just finished my final cardio session, my final full body pump. Still got a little bit of a shoulder pump going on there. And then I walked around the entire city of Vancouver, or what felt like it was, um, sort of looking for a few things. So I picked up a fan, because um, it's really hard for me to sleep without like some white noise in the background. So I got a little fan over there by my bed. Uh, that I will plug in for tonight and then I also stopped to get a food scale because uh, I literally forget mine every time I go anywhere so that's annoying um, but I found both things that I needed and I got to explore a little bit and smell all the smells of like the good food places around me uh, then I stopped and cut some coffee so happy life is good when you have coffee and then I stopped at a little um, Asian restaurant right next door to the Starbucks to get white rice because today is a very special day. I get to start my carb up. Woo! Yeah! It's good. I don't know. I'm that girl right now. I was literally dancing in the street on my way to go get rice because I was just really excited. If you don't believe me, watch my IG stories because it's on there. I was dancing. So I'm going to eat this chicken, rice, and asparagus, and then I have a few phone calls, uh, coaching phone calls with clients who have recently applied to my Mind Body Life coaching program. Um, phone call is sort of the second and third step of the process, making sure it's the right fit for the both of us, and I have some phone calls lined up today with some amazing women that I'm super excited to talk to, and then I'm going to get a blowout, and then I have my athlete meeting this evening. So. That's my life today, guys. Just sharing it with y'all. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. I have asparagus in my teeth. I'll catch y'all soon. What's up, YouTube? Day before the show, and I'm headed to the expo. I'm doing a little meet and greet at the BPI booth today from 12 to 2, so I'm so excited. I know lots of people have been asking if I'm doing a meetup while I'm here, so that is where I will be. Getting ready to head over there now and hopefully see many of you. I love those like pre-show hugs. They just like fuel me and get me so excited. So just packing up a little bag to head over there. I've been working all morning, um, talking a ton with the girls in my Mind Body Life coaching program and our private community on Facebook. And it's just like giving me so much energy and excitement. And uh, I love you girls. And to those of you that I've welcomed into the program over the last couple of days, uh, welcome. I'm so excited to have you on board. I'm still going through the applications. Um, I'm taking a few more girls into the program right now as I go through those applications. Uh, the link to apply is actually still in my description box. As I said, I'm still taking on a few more applicants and setting up a few more coaching phone calls. So if that's something that you're interested in, uh, you have to be an action taker, you have to be committed, and you have to 110% be ready to change your life. This isn't a program for somebody who just wants 12 weeks of results and just to be done with it. This is for somebody who wants an intensive 12 week course where you're learning knowledge, you're learning skills that you can take with you for the rest of your life. You guys, I am not in this to just give you results. Of course you're gonna get amazing results, but I am here to literally transform your life. And so already seeing that come to life for some of the girls in the program is just honestly amazing to me. And 
I look forward to hopefully receiving some applications from you guys too. But that was sort of a side note and a tangent. I'm, like I said, heading over to the expo very soon and I wanted to show you guys. So as you know from watching previous show day blo vlogs, 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 um, I'm not one for like going too crazy after the show. Of course, like I love to treat myself and I have already a list of things that I'm going to try while I'm here in Canada because when in Canada, I mean, this is my first time, so I have to try some of the good stuff here. So, but with that, like I don't pack a ton of stuff in my suitcase, like a bunch of treats or anything like that, but I did pack my favorite candy, Team Jelly Beans. I freaking love jelly beans. I don't know, like I, I think I'm a minority there in that lots of people would not choose jelly beans as like their post show candy, but I just remember like I think nostalgia is what kicks in for me with jelly beans because as a kid, my parents would take me to the Jelly Belly factory that we used to have in Chicago and I would spend like 30 minutes just like perusing the aisles of jelly beans and packing like a five pound bag of jelly beans and so for me I think it's a lot of just like memory and nostalgia um and yeah so I'm just really excited for these jelly beans and actually got these from my girl Chelsea so thank you Chelsea all right so I'm headed out if you're team jelly bean comment below let me know or just let me know what your favorite candy is in general I'm just curious are you a sweet person like jelly type candy a chocolate type person let me know all right guys I'll catch you soon what's up guys it's show day I am having some chicken and rice for my first meal. And I just had a rinse and then I'm gonna head over to the venue to get my second coat of tan and get my hair and makeup done clearly. Uh, just warmed up this morning with a little posing. So I'll insert some clips here this right now so that you guys can see how I was looking. I'm feeling really good. I feel even more conditioned at this show than I did last week. I feel tight. I feel like my glute hamstring tie-in is popping even more and my glutes actually stayed pretty full So I'm really happy with the package that I'm bringing today And that's why I'm like going in confident and calm and not nervous at all um, I'm just excited and You know, I will let whatever happens happens and I, I just always know that the outcome of the shows are always in God's hands And so that's why you know, I just kind of leave it up to faith and I bring my best and whatever happens happens and I'm happy and I'm satisfied knowing that I brought my best and so I'm really excited for today and I'm excited to bring you guys along with me so I'll catch you guys soon what's up YouTube just finished hair and makeup makeup done by this beauty Nitzia hi guys and Nikki over there just did my hair so happy to just have like a glam squad that just kills it and you can just relax on show day so I'm ready to go thank you girls no worries look great Catch you guys backstage. What's up YouTube? I'm currently at the Vancouver airport about to head out on the second leg of my Canada trip here. I'm on my way to Calgary to spend the next six days with Miss Randy Kennedy and on Sunday the 16th we have our Calgary Her Fit Camp which is completely full and we are so 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 excited to meet all of you girls that are coming to the camp um, but I wanted to take some time to sort of catch up with you guys post show let you know sort of how I'm feeling and to be perfectly honest with you I know I shared a little bit about um, my current competition feels in my Patriots Pro uh, vlog and I'm feeling the exact same way um, I went into this show knowing that I gave this prep my fourth back-to-back -back prep absolutely everything that I had and I felt super confident with the package that I brought I felt amazing on stage I felt absolutely zero nerves I felt at peace I felt calm I felt excited and I knew in my heart that this show signified the sort of start of a new chapter for me and so I feel like I went into the show and I went out with a bang and when I say went out with a bang um, 
that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, that I got a trophy or a placing because I didn't, but I still feel like I gave everything I, I had for this prep and I feel super confident with what I brought to the stage and super happy with it. And so, um, when I say going out with a bang though, that I don't necessarily mean that I don't will never compete again. Um, I'm not saying that at all. Um, I feel like I will know and that God will place it in my heart when and if that time is right again. Uh, but for right now, my focus and what I feel makes me most fulfilled, like I said in my Patriots vlog, is my girls, the women that I work with, is changing other women's lives. Like, that is my passion, that is my purpose. You know, competing will always be there, the stage will always be there, and like I said, I know that God will place it in my heart when and if that time for me to step on stage is right again, and I feel like something he's been trying to tell me for a while is to put my entire being into my business and into my coaching and into my girls, and I feel like I'm finally um, at a place where I had that breakthrough mentally and emotionally, and I'm now ready and able to to do that and like yes I've, I've given everything I have to my girls already but I just know that I'm going to be able to make even more of an impact and have a greater impact on these girls lives and change more lives than I was with other things sort of going on because we know competing and prepping it's a selfish sport it is at the end of the day it's a selfish sport um, and my focus right now is being a giver, being selfless, and doing everything I can to make a positive impact and to change other people's lives. That's what I feel most fulfilled doing. Uh, even <laughs> before prejudging, at the show this past weekend, I was on a coaching phone call with one of my clients. I was in our private Facebook community for my Mind Body Life coaching group, answering all the girls' questions and making sure they were prepared for the week ahead and that they were feeling confident and they were feeling excited and comfortable for what's to come. And that's what makes me so happy. And so that, that's why I feel like I'm in such a good place right now. And I'm feeling okay with sort of just letting competing do its thing and letting me do my thing. And like I said, I know that the stage will always be there. Um, I am super excited for this next, I guess, chapter and for all of the exciting things to come. Uh, I'm gonna be taking you guys with me throughout my entire Calgary trip, the rest of my time here in Canada. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to be eating post-show, how I'm going to be training post-show. None of those things are going to change too dramatically because at the end of the day, this is my lifestyle regardless. Um, but I'm really excited to sort of feel that excitement to get back into the gym again and um, take my training to different places, try new things, and be a little bit more flexible with my diet too. Um, I will show you exactly what I'm gonna be doing while I'm in Canada, so make sure that you're subscribed and that you follow along for the next vlog. I plan to carry out the rest of this week with just some intuitive eating, so if that's something that you're you're interested in how I go about doing intuitive eating definitely make sure you tune in for the next vlog uh, but I'm really excited and I appreciate you guys for all of your love all of your kind words and your support and I hope that you guys will be down to join me on the next bit of this journey and I will catch you guys in the next vlog thank you guys for watching love y'all so much see you soon